Today we're going to integrate the SEMGREP security scanner into an Azure DevOps pipeline. You need to run regular security scans on your software. New vulnerabilities pop up all the time, so it's a good idea to run these scans periodically, even after development is finished. As your software's version gets older, the risk of security issues increases. But luckily, SEMGREP's vulnerability database is constantly updated. Let's get started by heading to the Azure DevOps page and creating a new project. For our demo, we'll use a GitHub repo called HackMe. It's packed with juicy vulnerabilities perfect for a SAS scanner. I've already imported this repo into Azure, which is literally just a button click away. First, I'll hop over to SEMGREP's documentation to check out the integration process. This code snippet looks like a good starting point. I'm grabbing the installation steps to get us rolling. Next, I'll go to the pipeline menu and create a new pipeline. Our imported HackMe repository is right there waiting. We'll use a Python template, since we're going to install the scanner with pip. We can clean up some unnecessary example code. The strategy matrix is for version testing, which we don't need. I'll stick with Python 3.11. I want to demonstrate setups for both cloud-hosted and self-hosted runs, covering Windows and Ubuntu configurations. For cloud-hosted Ubuntu, we can simply paste the code from SEMGREP's documentation and add the scanning command. We'll need to add the SEMGREP app token as a variable. Head over to semgrep.dev and log in or sign up for a free account. Go to settings and create a new token. Paste the token into a new variable in your pipeline and check the keep this value secret box. We don't want to expose the token. Since the SEMGREP app token is a secret variable, we'll explicitly map it as an environment variable using the environment parameter in the script. This script is for cloud-hosted Ubuntu. If you want to run the pipeline on cloud-hosted Windows, you'll need to use a Docker container since SEMGREP doesn't support Python directly on Windows. To do that, you'll need to add a task to set up Docker before running the script. However, I'll be running the pipeline on a self-hosted Windows agent, so I don't need a Docker setup. I have it running already on my machine. With the setup parameters ready, let's talk about the Docker run command. A quick Google search led to an outdated result, return to corp image, so let's try Docker Hub instead. Here's the command we need, I'll copy that over. We'll pass the SEMGREP app token to the container and change the command to SEMGREP code scan for a full SAST scan. I'll also add an option to generate a serif report and show you how to save artifacts in the pipeline.
With the code scan setup, let's add the other scan SEMGREP offers. If you need to tweak the specific parameters, just Google SEMGREP CLI parameters. You should find all the details you need. First, we'll copy the script and set up an open source scan, OSS, which is a lightweight dependency scan. Next, we'll add a scan for secrets. This checks for things like passwords and hashes left in readable formats in your source code or logs. Finally, we'll include a supply chain scan, which is another type of dependency check. And there it is, the script is complete. We can hit the run button. With my hardware, it'll take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward through the wait. All the scans have successfully completed, let's check the logs. The first log is from the code scan. It's filled with JSON data because we chose the serif report format. But no worries, there's also a clean HTML report available on the SEMGREP website. I'll show that later. Next up is the open source scan which found 8 issues. The secret scan didn't run because I don't have a subscription for it but you can contact SEMGREP support for a demo. It's a scan you should definitely consider if you're developing commercial software. The last one is the supply chain scan. Now let me show you how to download the Serif report from the run. There are multiple ways to publish files from an Azure pipeline, but I'll use an example script from the Azure documentation. The file we're looking for is named serif.json. Just copy the example script, paste it at the end of the pipeline and update the contents parameter. And there it is, the serif file. If you're wondering how to use a serif file, here's a tip. You can load it into Visual Studio Code. Install the serif viewer extension, and it'll display all the vulnerabilities, along with the exact lines of code that need attention. Another way to view vulnerabilities in a clean format is to head over to the SEMGREP website. Click the Projects tab and you'll see our run. Here are the findings from the code scan. Click on a file name, and it'll take you directly to the Azure repo, highlighting the specific line of code. If you want to learn more or explore additional resources, just click on Details.
if you check the supply chain tab, you'll see the findings from the dependency scans. And that's a wrap for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, share it with your fellow security enthusiasts. Thanks for watching.